Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick. And the big news, oh, wait a minute. Okay, all is quiet, silent night. That could kind of very well explain what's going on between Christmas and New Year's. Oh, it's not just everywhere. But see, part of it, one of the things that happens between Christmas and New Year's every year is, yes, the, oh. Oh, the big news today is Monty comes to join us for comments on the headlines of today. Or not, okay. So we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines out today. Oh, well, she's decided. Are we doing everything to your liking? Yes. Is everything perfect for you? Are you going to join us? Okay. I know. I know. I because George Bush's father is dying at the moment. And uh, that, even for the Democrats, that would be pushing it a little bit too far to go after the sun. So Republicans are responsible for this problem as well. <laughs> no, as they say, the Democrats have not passed a budget in, since Obama became president. Mm -hmm. that, you know, where, where it dies all the time? It dies in the Senate. They've had a continuing resolution in violation of the Constitution for four years. Mm. And they, they go busted. And, uh, but what people are not talking about on the fiscal cliff is the government shuts down next week. Totally shuts down because they've not even passed a continuing resolution this time. Ah. Uh, and the Rose Bowl teams descend on Southern California. Kicking, it, kicking off the week with a trip to Disneyland. You know, we used to like to go do those things, but unfortunately... The, the Disney is old media. God awfully hates new media. Mm -hmm. So I mean, they treat new media like they were something that crawled out from underneath the rock. Because if you look carefully, everything off of Disney is done off of the Go system because they spent like two billion dollars to buy that online internet and never could make it work because they don't. They're old media. They just simply. Um, I mean, okay, everyone conduct everyone connected with Disney is pushing senior citizenhood and they are the worst people in the universe to try to change in the new media. Yeah, but some people like it. Well, no. But like, look at you, you like the, well actually, you yeah, like see, computers. I've been playing with computers since, see this building here? Computers actually used to be as big as this whole building. Mm -hmm. And you basically put it, you put little card cards in or you'd put uh, an eight inch reel of tape. That was how they did it in those days. <laughs> and they were big, those things, 1K. And justice won't block the morning after pill rule. Which basically uh, Obama said F you to every religious group. He said the constant, uh, this is what one of, the, one of the Catholic priests said. And actually, I love it, they called him, well this son of a bitch and bastard has violated the Constitution for the last time. Said I have my constitutional rights. I do not have to, my church does not have to pay for anyone's abortion, we do not have to pay for anything that violates the Constitution. And he said, his, his orders are, he plans to throw us all in a jail cell if we don't provide free abortions to women. He said, mm. it's not going to happen. He said, Mr. President, jail me. And you're going to jail a lot of other Catholics that basically put you in office. Yep. And yeah. Russian pipeline blast, quake strike, 2014 Olympics host, oh, Sochi. God, it basically, the... They they've got a huge problem. The, they got it's the, what some moron decided to put the Winter Olympics in an earthquake area. Oh no! Yeah, basically, um, they they said there's no way on earth they're going to be able to repair the damage that has been done to the city in time. <gasps> well, oh no! They can't even start rebuilding until the damage to the pipeline is done first. So because what are they going to do? Uh, basically, they've got a problem. I heard one of the people said they're looking for an alternate area in the Soviet Union to put the Olympic Games into now. 
Oh, that's horrible. Yeah. And D.C. hotels less busy for Obama's second inauguration. Well, because they, they know he's going to come. There's going to be a third inauguration, a fourth and a fifth, and maybe a sixth. You know, because he's, what, he's 50 years old, another another five terms and make him 70 years old. So, um, you know, what's the big deal? They'll have the big one, you know, when he probably for his 70th birthday is when they'll have the big inauguration. Afghan bomber attacks near major U.S. base, no dead. Well, you know, they're basically doing a bombing attack a day. Uh, let's see, um, the, the, I, I like this. They said, I'm listening to Al Jazeera, and they said that when you have the great Satan on the run, you help him run even faster. <laughs> Which means the Obama is basically everywhere Obama is pulling out of the the uh, the extremists in the Muslim Empire are taking over, and they said that we have no friends left in this universe because of this president. And Christmas Day storms blamed for three deaths. You know, people. Okay, we got trapped in a storm. It's oh, it's oh here, was which that is, a? It was called the storm that never actually happened because you know, despite the fact I couldn't get within three miles of the city because the roads were blocked, they, they, they were on the ball and you know, but there were people skidding off the roads, they were doing everything. We have an SUV and it was a lot of fun trying to get around with snow uh, up over the rims of the, <laughs> of the wheels. So. And EPA issues air pollution standards for boilers and cement plants. Oh yeah, they're going to shut down the entire country. Merry, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, as Obama shuts down every coal plant, every, uh, every concrete plant, everyone in the nation starting next year. What? Yeah, well, because they can't, they can't adhere to his regulate. They have now, because of the Supreme Court, basically that wasn't what they intended. They've allowed breathing to be, uh, you know, breathing air to be a greenhouse gas so they can regulate everybody, when they, you know, this way. What? They, they shut down any industry that produces the same stuff that we give out. And, and so, well, if you're going to have 400 million people, we're going to have to cut out pollution by these businesses that are, they said, well, it, it's, it works in concert with one another. If you fire all the people from their jobs, you're not going to have as many people breathing anymore because the birth rate's got to go down. So we just we die off of the population because of a left-wing president. And Morgan Stanley case leaves Facebook with similar legal challenge. Well, Facebook's going to be sued over. They uh, basically the the IPO was rigged, and everybody knew it was rigged. And basically, Facebook is going up right now on all the news that they may settle the legal problems, which means they got to return everybody's money that they invested in the thing. So which means it's a wash. Mm -hmm. So it will, it will end up exactly the same price as it was before. When the shares were private, it's all going to end up back to their price. And people that want to keep the shares can keep it. But the people that don't want it, basically, there's a buyback thing going on, I think, with Morgan Stanley. And how the fiscal cliff talks broke down. Well, the Democrats don't cut anything. It's a simple thing. Republicans have tried okay, a compromise. Compromise is when both, both parties give something. The, uh, our president's idea and the Democratic Party idea of a compromise is you lost the election, we make the rules. The problem is they didn't lose the election. They kept the House. They also, uh, the, the president, I told people like two years ago he was looking for 33% of the vote. He got 36% of the vote of the people in this nation. 36 not the 53 they're claiming. You got 36 percent of the people that came out and the, of the nation. 36 percent of those qualified to vote. He only got. He's a minority president of our. I mean, the last person to come anywhere close to that was um, the first election of Bill Clinton, and Bill Clinton, I think, got 41 percent of the people that came out to vote. And you and en envoy to Syria on the way to Damascus. Yeah. Well, they're trying to make a deal now with the Syrians, which basically means. Assad stays in power and the people that are trying to overthrow him leave the country. Oh, that's so what happens? Basically, you have to understand who it is that's brokering this with the Soviet Union. It's the President of the United States who seems to think that that's how it works, you know. Well, you know, you know if you're winning, get out. Mm -hmm. so, and Egyptians back a new constitution in referendum. Which is exactly the same thing that happened with the Obama election, which is funny. They got 63% of the people that voted, and 50% of the people didn't vote in an election where voting is mandatory, so... Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, no, we figure it this way. 
if they got 63% of 50%, which means they actually lost the election because the people oh. that didn't vote would have voted the opposite way. And Syria government says its force is still strong. Yeah, they're not going to lose the war. They have the Air Force. They have. He, we're going to go back to something a zillion years old. He who controls the port of Damascus uh, controls the entrance into the Middle East. And oh. he controls Damascus' ports. Oh, India's gang right protesters defy moves to quell outrage. Oh, yeah. I mean, they, what made it worse was they basically they drove through a half a dozen police checkpoints of these guys. They, they nearly beat a guy to death, the girl's boyfriend to death, and they basically all took turns raping her for hours as they were going through one checkpoint after another. And, uh, and the, well, the government is basically checking in. They said it's a disgrace. The government's paying all the medical bills uh -huh. and paying their families off and everything because, uh, remember, it's, it's perfectly acceptable in those worlds to attack a female because they don't, they're not worth anything. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, that is a different world. Yeah. Anna Monty bubble is in from the Mark Twain in the animal kingdom. For all of those people that put forth these surveys that saying people my age don't need as much rest as when they were younger, you have to understand that none of them doing the surveys are anywhere near my age.